Hey guys, and warm welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace if you're new here, and this is the Rusty Thicket, and we have been working on Vlogmas. So today is the 15th, which is day 15 of Vlogmas, and I am still working on trying to get 13 up. Don't know what's wrong with the footage, don't know if I'll get it up or not, but I thought I would go ahead and share with you all what day 13 was supposed to be, which is this super cute wreath. I think it turned out so amazing and I really hope you can see the footage from it at some point. Um, I am gonna keep working on that for you. In the meantime though, uh, today is the 15th and we're going to actually get caught up. So yesterday I did not do my day 14. So we're gonna do both of those today. Uh, yesterday ended up being just a really low energy day. I was not feeling it. I didn't wanna get off the couch. Um, I had already planned on sharing with you all my stickers situation, um, the video I ended up putting up, but I had planned on doing it a little bit different and kind of walking you through the process a little, but I just wasn't having it and, but I just wasn't having it. So um, here in the next few weeks or so, I will do a better version of that with some of the other stickers that I am currently working on because I'd like to have about 12 for the next year that I will slowly roll out through the whole thing. Um, but anyway, so the 14th was like a weird lip thing. It feels like a gummy. And it's weirdly thin. Maybe strawberry? Truthfully, it just kind of tastes a little on the sweet side, but nothing great, nothing bad, nothing great. All right, and then this one is also a gummy. It looks and feels like, I think it's like a, when they have this color here, this blue color, it's like a soda flavor, just like a basic soda flavor. Um, it kind of reminds me of the white or like the clear gummy bears, which are actually pineapple, I think. Okay, so it's definitely in the shape of like a can of soda or something like that. So, yep, it's like, um, like cream, like cream soda. Some of them even have like that little fizzy kind of thing to it sometimes. This one doesn't though. They're definitely in the same family. Like I think they're made by the same company. This one's the best. I think it's way better than whatever the red thing was, which if it's strawberry, that's interesting because usually strawberry here is amazing. Okay, so today I'm going to attempt something that I sort of saw on TikTok, sort of saw on Pinterest. Um, if you're kind of in this like whole Goblin Core aesthetic, you've probably seen where people take um, the hot glue and make little mushrooms out of it. And then you may have also seen the one where they put it on like a tap light and it glows um, underneath some hot glue crystals. So I thought, por que no los dos? So we're gonna try to do that. Um, and instead of making like your normal red cap Amanita mushroom, I think I'm gonna try and do an inky cap because I really think like the, the drippy looking part of the hot glue, like going down the side of it would make it look, look like an ink cap mushroom. And I think that could be really neat. Um, so we're at least gonna make it today. I don't know if we'll get around to painting it or not. I don't actually have straight black paint right now. So um, if I did do it, it would have to be like a metallic silver black color. Um, and I want it to look good. So we're at least gonna get the first part of it done. And then maybe tomorrow can be part two or a little bit later this week after I go pick up some black paint whenever that happens to be. So stay tuned. Okay, so I would suggest getting a silicone mat or some kind of silicone something because hot glue will peel right up off of it really nicely and you won't have to worry about fighting with wax paper or anything like that. Um, you're gonna want a tap light. This one's actually pretty bright. So the idea is that we are going to um, make a base of hot glue that will fit over top of this and then build mushrooms up out of it that will then glow. 
and if we do it right and the like vision in my head is that the stems will kind of glow and then when we get to like the black part of the ink cap mushroom it'll kind of come through a little bit of the top part where it ends up fading into a white if you've ever seen an ink cap mushroom i'll go ahead and put one on the screen so you know what i'm talking about but of course you could do any mushroom that you want you could even do crystals like I've seen before. I'll put um, a picture of that inspiration up also. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Make sure that you're really careful with your hot glue. I've burned myself many times before and thankfully nothing hugely impactful. I actually have a couple of little scars here and there uh, throughout life. And um, I would love to know in the comments below <laughs> what you think about my hot glue gun. So um, I'm having a hard time separating from it. I actually got this from my dad when I was probably, oh man, maybe 10 or 12. I honestly can't remember, but it came in a big flat tote of a ton of art supplies one year for Christmas. One of the best Christmas gifts I have ever gotten, um, especially as a kid. And this just happened to be one of those random things in there that they've, you know, filled to the brim. And I really want like a cordless Ryobi, I think is what they're called. Um, they've got like the, uh, the charge pack like you have for a drill. Um, but I don't know, it's just, honestly at this point it's sentimental. Is it weird to have a sentimental hot glue gun? Uh, because I have one. <laughs> um, and then I also just want to kind of give you my life hack, I guess, uh, for the tray that I have for it. So instead of, you know, how some of them have like that base that you can set them on, or you could totally get like a silicone mat like this that it would sit on so it doesn't drop hot glue everywhere. I'm pretty sure this is just an electrical outlet like thing. Um, you know, if you know the, the, the real technical term, please leave that in the comments below also. Um, but it's metal, so it works great. I don't have to worry about the hot glue dripping down in here. I do clean it every out every so often, but um, you know, it's not, it's not an issue. It's great, it fits in my little cabinet well. Um, I don't have to worry about it falling over because I can just lay it on its side like this. And um, you know, they make really nice trays and stuff for them but this works really well and I think I found it I'm pretty sure it was like on some kind of job site when I was with some family at like a construction thing or something I don't know I honestly can't remember for all I know it came out of the basement in one of the houses I used to live in growing up but that's my life hack all right so I apologize if you hear the jets anytime soon. I may end up voicing over this depending on how bad they get. But of course you need extra glue. I have no idea how much, so we're just gonna have some kind of hangout up here ready for us. And I think we're gonna start with the base. I think that makes the most sense. Actually, no, you know what? We're gonna start out with some stems. So I think I want three to four. We're gonna do kind of nice wide stems so that they are sturdy and they don't fall over too bad. I kind of like that really dainty look in mushrooms, but I want these, I want this to kind of last and to be a semi-permanent fixture like on my desk, so. I want to make sure they're going to be sturdy. So we're going to do the first half and then when these dry, flip them over and add the second half to the other side. And then that way it's three dimensional because this is going to, you know, gravity wise, it's going to settle itself in. All right. And I think we'll do one nice extra long one over here just in case all right and while those are cooling before we flip them over um, and they they usually take a lot less time when you've got them on like a mat like this too 
they cool really easily. We're gonna go ahead and start with some of the caps. Um, I want a couple to be kind of big. And this is just the base layer. So you can go, you know, as big as you want to. All right, these look like they're ready to flip over. Oh, see, that's got some holes in it, so it's a good thing we are flipping it over. All right. And remember, this one's hot, so we don't want to touch that. All right, and then when we get these to dry on this side, we will take the nozzle part of the hot glue gun and kind of run it over the seam so that they look more intentional. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I went ahead and added a second layer to what are going to be the mushroom caps. And I think that's gonna give us a nice enough base to be able to connect everything and then build the bottom part so that we can get everything upright and standing because we don't wanna to have to hold the little mushroom caps while we are putting the like inky cap drips on them, if that makes any sense. Um, if that makes any sense, but that's what's next. Okay, so I went ahead and added a round border so that we can fill it in for the top of this. I'm not going off of like really the size being perfect as much as I just want the shape to kind of be somewhat similar as round as I can get it and then we're going to start placing these about the general shape I'm going for. All right, and then we're gonna let this cool and then we're going to take our mushrooms and poke a hole in them to set them on top. So I think that's the easiest way so that you're not having to handle quite so much of the hot glue around your fingers. Okay, and then we're gonna take the bases of our mushroom tops and melt very carefully, the top part of that, large enough for whatever your stem is like. And this first stem for mine is kind of weird and like oblong. So hopefully I can get it to fit. All right, 
And if you want, you can secure that a little bit more around the base, but I've tried this a couple of times with a few of the other like trial runs that I've done. And I don't really think that you need to, um, but we are gonna add more to the top of this. So if you feel like yours is a little flimsy, of course you can always go back and add. All right, we're gonna do the second largest one now. And then see how it's gonna fit like right over top of this and come through. And I know it's not like super easy to be able to see it on the screen, but I think it's gonna look really cool when we've got it lit up later. So, all right, let's finish adding these. And then we'll do the thumb part, which is gonna be like the actual ink cap part. Okay, so now we're gonna let that dry really good and solidify some, and then we're gonna come back in and do the little drops off of the tops here. So we're gonna start up here at the uh, top part of this, drag it down and let it start to droop a little bit and then run it back up and that will kind of even out these ridges. I'm sure there's another way to do it to make it look even more realistic, but that's the best way I know how to do it without having to like touch and manhandle. Too much. And you don't want to do too much glue because then it's just gonna be all over everything. Like this drop is probably already gonna come down here and catch the mushroom below it, so. Let's run it back up here. I hope you can really see this well. But see how it's got all the little drips and drops on it and it's gonna look just amazing lit up. I might keep it like this. I'm gonna sit with it overnight and then maybe tomorrow we'll paint it if I can run out and get some good black paint and convince myself to do it. Cause I think it would look good either way, truthfully, but that's, that's kind of it. Um, I'm not going to glue it down to the base because I'm not sure how it will interact with this plastic, but I feel like you probably could with no, no real problem. The crystal one that I saw definitely did this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you a clip of it with all the lights turned out so you can see what it looks like. And then maybe tomorrow we'll paint it. But uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow is Vlogmas Day 16 and we will have... Um, another fun little project as we kind of wrap up as we wrap up this week and then uh, we will get into some light baking next week and move on to Christmas. It's so weird to think that 2022 is almost over. But anyway, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.